Allô tout le monde! Hi everyone! My name is Geneviève, but please feel free to call me Jen. That's what everyone calls me. I live in Ottawa, Canada. I am a bilingual French-Canadian. I have a full-time job, but I also have a lot of hobbies. And on this channel, we talk about my hobbies. Um, I'm a multi-crafter. I cross-stitch, I knit, and I sew. So today we're going to touch all three. Um, I'm not someone who has a lot of variety in their project just because I'm usually working on one thing at a time, but you may see a lot of progress on, on things that I'm showing. So uh, hopefully this is something you will enjoy. If you haven't done so, please like and subscribe. Uh, that would mean a lot to me and to the channel. This is absolutely not necessary, but I appreciate the gesture. It, it means a lot to me. So uh, today we're March 24th. 2024. Okay, so like I said, cross stitching. I've worked on the same thing I have been working for the past months. It is the Wishing Apple by Natasha, Natasha Westcott, and it's charted by Charting Creation. And I have to say before I show the project that this chart is so well done. Uh, it's not super big, it's 300 by 400, and there's 86 colors. However, the details are beautiful, the shading is amazing. I have a lot of fun working on this. I was a big, uh, I was in big confetti heavy sections, the apple, however, I'm kind of past it, so now I have some block colors. And, uh, and a mix of confetti, and I love that. That's really what I prefer when there's a mix of both. I have been stitching a lot this month, way more than I usually do. Um, I had some vacation days to burn at work and I didn't wanna have them paid, so I'm taking some vacations vacation days off and I'm enjoying it and using it to uh, make progress on my cross stitch. So. Without further ado, here we are. So, she's so pretty. So, I'm working on this. This is a 28 count. I'm doing two over one ten stitch on a diagonal. Um, here I have a needle minder from Ivory Needle. It's on Etsy. And I have a Papa Noel. Papa Noel from Colleen at Rebel Stitcher Design. So for this, I'm at 67.18%. And um, I forgot. I'm gonna put a picture here of what it's gonna be finished. Sorry, I totally forgot. So we're going into the this world a bit like here on this side and then it's gonna be beautiful blues and yellows and I cannot wait. The apple was so much confetti, but it's so good. I'm very glad with the finished product. So there it is. It's a joy working on her, like I said, and I'm very, very pleased. So if you're debating um, trying charting creations, give them a try. You will not be disappointed. I am not, um, and I cannot wait to actually get another chart from them and see how it comes out. I don't have anything planned, but uh, if this one is that good, I'm not even worried for the next one I would do. So a bit of statistics. Uh, like I said, 68.18%. I have done 203 hours on it. Uh, I love to calculate the stitches and the time it takes me. Actually, I'm going to show you. I don't have a book of days. I have a five-year... Amazon um, book. Uh, it's divided by month and that's basically every time I stitch, which you see is on the weekend. So I write what I'm stitch on, the hours I did and the total stitches and I calculate everything at the end of the month. And that's how I keep track of everything. It's working for me. It's easy. It's simple. I also, be 
stitch with um, this is a candle uh, only for pattern keeper I adore it I could not stitch without pattern keeper actually that's not true for those who have been in other episodes I have done a very very large Disney villains I started that one on a paper chart and it worked it's just a lot longer um, but since I don't have a lot of time pattern keeper is a lifesaver for me I did this month like I said I've showed you I write how many stitches I do in a day. So this month, and please, it's very high, but I've, because I've had a lot of vacation days, but I did so far 8,246 10 tent stitches. Like I said, it's 28 count, two over one tent. Uh, it's a lot for me. So I'm not, I'm not saying the, the amount to make you feel good or bad. I'm just <laughs> like stitching big things with Hallie. Like she said, it's just for me to record it, to, to see how much I can achieve. And that's a very, very high number for me in terms of uh, stitching. So I'm pretty pleased. Uh, I cannot wait to keep working on this and finishing it. And I will keep you posted, of course. So again, the Wishing Apple from Charting Creation artwork by Natasha Westcott. I was putting my stretcher bars back on, and uh, so yeah, so just that's how it looks. Super, super tight. I just and I forgot to say at the beginning, but everything and everyone I mentioned, we will be linked in the, in the description box below if i forget something please ask me i usually have everything ready but you know i'm only human so i think that's it now let's talk knitting i'm very excited i sh actually i can't show you i'm gonna somewhat show you because what i'm knitting right now is a test knit for marie elise dugal hello marie elise and tippy tree yarn i hope i'm saying that correctly it is for their mystery box for the Bronte sisters. I am almost done the shawl. I'm just not allowed to show it, of course, because it's a mystery knit along box. Um, I have everything in my Kaylee 10 stitch bag. I love this. It's like fat flannel, very, very soft. And the colors kind of fit-ish with the color of my shawl. I showed the colors last time. They are from a Ottawa-based dyer, Revolution. So this is um, Petit Poussin, Small Chicks. And the other one is First Crocus. So it's kind of that zebra-ish yarn. It's such a cool effect. I love it. Oh, there. I love it. I'm really happy. So... That's what it's looking like. Very springy. This is reminding me of the Cadbury mini eggs. I love those. So of course it's season for that. And the yellow because spring is coming people. The weather is saying that it's not, but I'm saying it is. Um, so this is what it's looking like so far. I know it's kind of a tease, but I just needed to show kind of the colors together. Um, because I'm a child of the 80s, I have some stitch markers that are Care Bears, Calinours in French, and my needle stoppers are Strawberry Shortcake, Frisinette. So I'm working hard on this to finish it soon. And as soon as I can show you pictures, I will. It is a beautiful shawl. I love it. This is done on fingering. Uh, this is, let me see, 80% superwash merino, 20% nylon, both are the same. Uh, so it's very soft, very squishy, very bouncy, and it's gonna be perfect for spring weather. I, um, the pattern should come out, I believe, or the boxes in June. 
Uh, but again, if you want more information, below I will link down Marie Elise and Tipitri yarn so you can find all the information there. Uh, the colors they made for this shawl are beautiful. Uh, I saw that Cam, the stitcher, hi Cam, uh, got some colors and I'm, I'm super jealous now I want to get the colors. But I have enough yarn already. Anyway, enough of that. That's all I have for knitting. Um, as soon as I'm done this, I want to finish my Gardel Crew um, sweater. It's a bottom-up sweater. Uh, I absolutely copied Tiny Human Knits uh, with her version of the rainbow colors. So when she put that on Etsy, it was at the cart. Uh, I was waiting because I did some mistakes and I was short on a, one color i received it so i cannot wait to start that again it's my first sweat, sweater i'm knitting so i'm kind of <laughs> um winging as i go and we will see next episode if i'm done or where i'm at and hope for the best i'm very proud to show you my finished knitting this shawl it is gorgeous and it is big. It is the, I was working on it last video I made, it's the Bally Glass uh, Shawl by Aranin Designs. It's made in worsted weight yarn. Uh, that colorway is very, very true to color. It is Midnight Lily and it's dyed by a local dyer, a friend of mine, Caitlin. Her company is The Lab Fibers. Um, so here it is, it's big and beautiful, I love the simplicity of the shawl and yet how cozy and nice it looks. This yarn is so squishy and bouncy and soft, it is a dream to work with, I'm very happy with the results. I have not worn this shawl yet at work, but that's what I'm going to be wearing next Tuesday when I go in the office because I do hybrid work. Um, and I'm going to be showing Caitlin in person. We work at the same place. Um, I call this my Knit City Toronto 2024 shawl. I am so excited. Caitlin has asked me if I wanted to go with her and other friends, um, other people that I know as well, and help at her booth at Knit City Toronto. What? Of course, I said yes. This is so exciting. I cannot wait. So I will absolutely be displaying this shawl in her booth. So if you're Canadian and you're a knitter and you're going, you may be able to see this in person. Um, again, I really, really recommend this shawl. I adore it. I have to give a big shout out to my friend Diana. It is Kismet Stitches. She is the one who taught me, encouraged me to start knitting, and I'm so happy that she did. So like I said, I work full time. Full cross, full coverage cross stitching is taking too much of my brain power for nights after work if I want to just relax. So usually at night I knit, I find it easier. Granted, I don't do anything, I don't make anything complicated. However, I find that very uh, um, mindful, uh, if I can say so. Knitting, I do usually during the weekdays and I bring some at lunchtime and we have sometimes knitting dates with other friends. So, hello, Caitlin. Hi, Samantha. And I think that's all I have to say for this. It took me about a month to knit. And needles are according to the pattern. Lastly, bag making. So a lot of people know me for the bags I sew at Jasmine Custom Bags on Instagram. And people seem to enjoy seeing the fabric that I have in my stash and what's gonna come out soon uh, or what is already sewed and I haven't posted yet. So we're gonna talk a, a bit about that right now. First one, I finished it this morning. Of course, Cruella. 
So that's machine embroidered. I did it myself. I think it came out super cute. This is a mini size. It fits an eight by eight two snap. Inside is just black and white. That's gonna be put on sale soon. And completely different topic, but related to something I showed earlier. Look at the beautiful Care Bears, all pink. I'm having a pink moment, so hearts to reflect the heart here. So that is also a mini. I have a lot of fabric. I only grabbed some. Uh, a lot of you like Star Wars, like myself, so found this one too. Could not help myself. I have those beautiful bees. The teal and like a sketch so that is coming up too of course one of my and your favorite Grogu because every time I see a Grogu fabric I cannot not buy it I may have something in mind for this so I'm excited and then this one was just so cheerful, I had to grab it. Uh, this is, I'm not even sure, but like um, unicorns with beautiful sayings, rainbows, beautiful colors, very cheerful. I really, really like it. I was very inspired by this, so I grabbed some. And then another friend of mine, Caroline, she was, hi Caroline, how are you? She was in Florida and I guess she had time to kill and she wanted to go to a quilt store and she did and she grabbed some fat quarters for me. I love what she came with. Wine glasses, very nice. Super cute unicorns and rainbows. That's super, super cute. I love the, the background. And then some sewing accessories. So these are all sewing baskets. Very retro. This is so cute. Um, again, I kind of have an idea. Caroline, if you're watching this, I have not forgotten about you. We are going to learn how to do that zipper pouch. I just don't have the time right now. I'm sorry. And, well, of course. That is beautiful as well. That is all I have to show you today. Thank you so much for taking the time. I have one more thing I need to do. Uh, so last episode, I said that when we would reach 400 subscribers, which we have, this is this is so amazing. Thank you, everyone. This that like it warms my heart. Really, it's uh, I don't take it for granted. I know everyone. I say it all the time, but it's true. I know everyone is busy, and time is of. Uh, it's a very limited thing that we have and the fact that you chose to take some of it with me is beyond everything I can say thank you. Like it's it's just, anyway, it warms my heart. Um, so I said that uh, when we would reach the 400, I would give a $25 certificate. I'm trying to not use certain words. Uh, to one of the subscriber and I chose that subscribers randomly based on the list that I was able to get and the person who won is so I'm not gonna say it out loud it's on the screen uh, if you have an Instagram account I will add it I will contact you via Instagram so again it's 25 Canadian dollar certificate to use in my Instagram shop. So thanks. I had a lot of fun doing this video today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, please leave them below. I love talking with you. Um, it's, it's, it's just 
I can't believe I have this community to interact with. When I started cross-stitching, I was very alone in it. Um, I discovered cross-stitch when I was in the military and I'm forever grateful for that person to, to, um, to have shown me how to cross-stitch. I kind of didn't pick it up right away, but um, I just want to, to say that this is a great community to be in. Same for knitters and same for bag makers. I'm just very grateful and um, thanks everyone. I will see you in my next video in about a month. Bye-bye.